Today let's look at region descriptors and how to extract them using MATLAB. So these are binary connected component regions that uh, we've, we've extracted using connected component labeling. <clears throat> so first we're just going to look at some basic features. Uh, later in the course we'll look at more complicated features, but just look at area centroid, um, which are defined as you can see here. Area, of course, is just the total number of pixels in the region. Centroid is the average um, row column, uh, row number and column value. And bounding box is the smallest rectangle containing the region, which can be specified by the location of the upper left corner and its width and height. So the MATLAB function region props computes these properties as well as others you pass in a label image such as produced by uh, BW label so that is the uh, labeling of all the connected components and region props returns an array of structures where each structure is the properties for one region just to see what a MATLAB structure is a structure is an object with fields so for an example um, let me extract um, some connected components of this image <clears throat> so this image is um, shown here and it's actually of type um, uint8 so I want to convert it to a black and white or logical image so I'll use im2bw so that is a logical image as you can see. So then I'll uh, pass that into the BW label function. This returns a label image L, which is the uh, same size as the original, and also the number of connected components, in this case uh, 17. So um, the uh, result of region props so I pass in L and blobs is an array of structures. Uh, it has 17 uh, structures in that array. Each structure has these fields, area centroid, bounding box. So um, if I want to look at, let's say, the first um, structure in that list, um, I type blobs of one and it shows me the values of the fields. I can also um, access any of these fields by just typing period and then the field name like that. Okay, so, so just to see what I got back there, um, the area of course is the number of pixels. The centroid is represented as x, y, where x is the horizontal and y is the vertical position. And the bounding box is this four element vector which is the starting left corner xy and then the width and the height. So let's say I want to uh, filter the blobs that I've extracted. Let's say I want to make a list of all the areas that I've extracted. Um, I can use the MATLAB function cat. So of course I could just type blobs colon dot area but this does not return a uh, vector this is just a, a separate list of elements like that so what I want to do is put those into an array I can use cat to do that so the idea is you pass in um, a list of elements and the dimension along which you want to concatenate them so for example if I have arrays ABC um, and I want to concatenate them in dimension 1, 1 meaning the vertical, 2 is the horizontal. That would produce something called M, which is a single array like that. So I could do um, this expression here, um, areas equal cat 1 blobs colon dot area. So now you can see areas, areas is a 17 by 1 uh, vector and whoops, 
here are all the values in that array called areas. All right, so let's say I just want to form a list of only the large blobs. Uh, let's see here. So I can I can always write for loops to extract those, but um, I'll show you an easier way using the MATLAB command find. So find, um, you pass in an array such as x, and find finds the non-zero elements of that array and returns their indices. So for example, if I have an array of consisting of these elements, 5006, um, the result of uh, running find on that array would return indices 1 and 4. So what I can do then is uh, apply that to my areas, my list of areas. So, so this expression here, areas greater than 5, does a test on each element of areas. Let me just type that. And it returns true or 1 for all the areas that are greater than 5. So that's true for all of these here except, as you can see, for that one. So now I run a uh, find on that. And that creates um, a list of indices. I'll see what that is. Those are the indices of from areas for those points that were greater than 5. So I got all of them except for index number 10. And then I can use those indices to just form another list of blobs, just getting the large blobs. So I can say blobs and pass in the indices that I just computed. So blobs large now is an array of structures of size 16. Okay, um, MATLAB graphics has a lot of graphics. Um, these functions are particularly useful. Rectangle draws a rectangle on the currently displayed image at this position. So we pass in the uh, starting upper left corner of the rectangle and it's width and height. So notice that this is exactly the same form that the bounding box property returned from region props. Um, and we can pick a color that we want to draw it in. This function draws a line from endpoints x1, y1 to x2, y2. So here's an example um, of drawing a bounding box around the largest blob. So we read in the image, label it, find the areas, just as we did before, find the maximum of the areas. So this gives me the uh, value of the maximum and the position of the maximum. This will draw a rectangle around the using the bounding box that I return from here. And then this extracts the uh, x0, y0, the centroid of that largest blob, and this draws a crosshair on it. So let me just go ahead and copy this and paste it into there. So it ran that code, um, and as you can see, I have the uh, bounding box around this blob. So this is actually a single blob because these two white regions touch. And it drew the centroid um, right here where the crosshair is.